Hello my dear students welcome back to online learning platform of Shri Baswa Public School I hope you have already watched my previous video which is all about a new chapter from your grammar sorry from your supplementary reader an alien hand and the chapter which we discussed in previous session it is fifth chapter and part first reading and explanation the name of the chapter is golu grows a nose which was written by which is written by radyard kipling so children let's start today's session with the new part explanation and reading before going to the second part reading and explanation let me give you a small recap of the first part so the story begins with the character golu it he uh, it is a baby elephant who lives with other animals in forest but this baby elephant is very naughty and has lot of questions in himself about other animals presence so he was keep asking the questions for to the other animals but the animals were unable to answer those questions which were asked by golu because though those questions were very difficult he was asking and uh, not only asking questions he was addressing all the other animal uh, who lives with him in forest very nicely very gently very humbly firstly he asked the question to ostrich which uh, which has a long neck for him it calls as for that animal it calls as tall ant and for tall uncle is giraffe he asked a question for tall ant that why do you not fly like other birds birds are flying other birds are flying and ostrich will also considered as um, bird only so he asked a very difficult questions to question to uh, ostrich that why you not fly like other bird and he asked to his tall uncle giraffe that why do you have those many spots on your skin you have spots on your skin why that also he asked to his tall uncle giraffe that what makes your makes your skin so spotty not why what makes your skin so spotty and here the tall uncle was unable to answer this question and he asked one more question to another huge uncle huge uncle means hippopotamus hippopotamus eyes will be always red na so they will be having the eyes red red eyes so he asked why you will always carry your red eyes and he asked one more question to babboon that why melons are like melons why they taste like melons and all four animals were unable to answer the question of golu because they were too difficult and they said this boy is very not naughty and always keep uh, asking the question to the animals one he, once um, he was having a doubt in his mind that what crocodile is going to have for dinner then he asked this to maina which was sitting on a tree then maina replied very sarcastically that you go and directly ask to crocodile itself he will answer you the question then golu decided now to go and get the answer for uh, crocodile from crocodile itself so he took some bananas some sugar canes and uh, uh, some eating food on the way if he feels uh, hungry then on the way it will be helpful for him so he carries his journey towards crocodile to meet and to ask a question that what you are going to have for dinner so till here we completed so now i am going to start another session with the reading part so listen very carefully golu meets the crocodile face to face he gets the python's help when he needs it most golu grows a long and useful nose so three these three points we are going to uh, analyze in the uh, today's session so listen very carefully golu moved on eating sugar canes bananas and melons after a few days he reached the very edge of the great grass, grassy limpopo river on the bank of the river he saw a log of wood it was really the crocodile who winked at him excuse me said golu have you ever seen a crocodile the crocodile winked again and lifted half his tail out of the mud come here little one said the crocodile why do you ask such questions i want to know come close little one for i am the crocodile and he shed crocodile tears to show it was quite true so children here firstly underline the word phrase log of wood underline this one log of wood it means large branch of tree log of wood means large branch of wood and underline winked word winked w i n k e d winked it means blink b l i n k blink and next is okay these are only two difficult words which i found in this stanza in this paragraph sorry so children here when golu was moving towards crocodile to meet crocodile he he found python which was coiled 
to the coiled on a branch of a tree he asked to him that have you ever seen crocodile uh, and do you know what crocodile is going to eat for lunch or dinner he asked one a few questions to him but crocodile did not answer him but golu helped him to uncoiled from the branch and he went away towards the next uh, towards the next uh, towards his journey after that when he was moving on then he felt hungry and he was eating sugar canes bananas and melons on the way after few days he he continued walked for five day, a few days uh, then after few days he reached to the edge of the limpopo river he was going to the limpopo river because mina said that crocodile will be found uh, on the edge of the limpopo grassy limpopo river so he reached there and on the bank of river he found a, a large branch of a tree which looks like a branch of a tree but it wasn't it was a crocodile and he saw that uh, two tree uh, two crocodile he was considering as a large branch of a tree a log of a wood after it uh, the crocodile was blinking golu said excuse me have you ever seen a crocodile to crocodile itself golu, golu is asking question that have you ever seen crocodile then crocodile replied he firstly he uh, winked uh, he blinked his eyes again and again and lifted his tail half out from the mud and he said come little here come, come little one here why do you ask this kind of questions then he then golu replied i wanted to know then he said come closer to me i am only the crocodile and he shed his tears crocodile tears children it is a phrase crocodile tear means it means artificial tears are acting like crying not genuine tears not genuine tears okay so he shed some uh, crocodile tears to show that he it was a quite true now golu was afraid but he sat down on the bank and said you are very uh, person i i was looking for please tell me what you have for dinner come here little one and i will whisper the answer to you said the crocodile golu put his head down close to the crocodile's snout and the crocodile caught, caught him by the nose i think said the crocodile today a baby elephant will be my dinner let me go you are hurting me mr crocodile screamed golu the python who had been quietly following golu came to the bank and said if you do not pull as hard as you can the crocodile will drag you into the stream so children after asking a question have you ever seen crocodile then crocodile reply okay i am only the crocodile you come closer to me then he then he was quite afraid but uh, he tried to sit down uh, at the bank of the river then he said oh okay you are only the person to whom i was looking for please tell me i have one question for you that what you are going to have for a dinner then crocodile replied come closer to me i will tell you in your uh, ear okay i will uh, i will tell you in your ear then golu went on towards him he went uh, closer to the crocodile then crocodile used that chance and caught him by his nose he took his, the crocodile's uh, crocodile caught him by the nose of elephant then alif the elephant started to shout leave me you are hurting me let me go you are hurting me then crocodile replied you want to know the answer na then answer is today a baby elephant is my dinner then crocodile started to shout it started to shout let that uh, you are hurting me leave me i will go python quietly following the crocodile sorry elephant so he came and he said to uh, elephant that if you do not pull you yourself as hard a, a, as hard as possible then crocodile will eat you and drag you into the stream then you have to pull yourself by your nose see here in this paragraph the difficult words are whisper in a sense saying slowly and next is snout it means face snout it means face and after that screaming screamed means shouting drag pull stream into the water or a flowing water okay next golu sat back on his little haunches and pulled and pulled the crocodile slipped into the water making it all creamy with great swips of his tail and he also pulled and pulled then the python coiled himself round golu's stomach and said let's pull harder golu dug in all his four legs in the mud and pulled the nose keep kept on stretching at each pull the nose grew longer and longer and it hurt golu the nose was now 5 feet long but it was free at last golu sat down with his nose wrapped up in a big banana leaf and hung it in the grate 
grassy limpopo river to cool golu sat there for two days waiting for his nose to cool and to shrink it grew cool but it not, did not shrink at the end of the second day a fly came and stung golu on the shoulder golu lifted his nose trunk and with it hit the fly dead then so children after that when python said him you have to pull yourself ha- as as hard as possible then only you will be free from the crocodile then golu tried very hard after it uh, he uh, he put uh, his um, haunches haunches it means hips okay haunches mean means hip hips next dug means keep dug means keep and after that shrink it means recoil draw back otherwise shrink means draw back stung it is a past uh, tense of sting and it means hurt okay so children here in this stanza golu was trying very hard to take out his nose from crocodile's face but he was quite unable then why when this struggle saw by the python python uncoiled himself and coiled himself uh, around uh, round golu's stomach and he too said that let's pull together harder as harder possible then Bo, uh, then golu dug his all four legs into the mud and pulled his nose which was uh, caught by the crocodile face when he was stretching himself by the nose nose was stretching also when he was pulling the nose nose was stretching for each pull of the uh, golu then after that when he was free out uh, when he was out of the crocodile face then the golu nose grew lo- 5 feet longer than before yes for each pull the nose of grew, uh, golu was growing longer and longer and also it was hurting to him then he when he was free from crocodile at that time golu nose was 5 feet long golu sat down at last he sat down and wrapped his uh, nose Uh, in a big banana leaf and uh, kept his nose in grassy limpopo river to cool it as well as to shrink it shrink it shrink it in a sense to go back at the same place but it wasn't happened golu sat there for two days by waiting to shrink its nose but it wasn't happened after that uh, at the end of the uh, second day uh, a fly came and uh, sat on the shoulder of golu and it was hurting golu then golu lifted his long uh, nose trunk and hit it then the fly was dead advantage number 1 he is the python you could not have done it with a small nose try and eat a little now golu put out his trunk and plucked a large bundle of grass he dusted it against his four legs and stuffed it into his mouth advantage number 2 he is the python you could not have done it with a small nose don't you think the sun is too hot now so children after hitting the fly uh, the python which was also waiting with, uh, with which was also with the golu itself at that point of time uh, he is here he said that if your nose were was small then it would be not possible from you now try and eat with your trunk then golu uh, pick off a large bundle of a uh, grass and uh, cleaned it with his four legs and stuffed stuffed in essence he took in his mouth after it advantage number 2 and python repeated once again that he said that one more advantage you have with your long trunk that you could not have done it with a small nose now do, don't you think the sun is too hot now don't you think see now you are able to pl- pick off the food and eat with your trunk if you haven't have this long trunk then it would be not possible from you now another advantage you have that is golu scooped up some mud from the bank and slapped it on his head advantage number 3 is the python you could not have done it with a small nose thank you mr python said golu gratefully i will remember all these and now i will go back to my family rajit kipling children when uh, python was real uh, realizing golu the usages of his long trunk by saying advantage number 1 advantage number 2 advantage number 1 is you can use it for save yourself by hitting the fly which he done and he said it is your advantage and now you uh, you can uh, pluck some fruits from other uh, tree and eat from with the help of your trunk then again he said now don't you think it is too hot 
then golu tried to take mud from a uh, cold mud from the place and uh, throw it on the uh, back of himself back okay so he took it from his nose and uh, thrown it on the back of himself then after that he python said that so don't you think so it is not possible from you if you haven't have this trunk and it is not possible with your small nose before when go when golu realizes his uh, usages of this trunk then he was very grateful to the python and he said thank you so much and he said also that i will remember you for my life long now i will go to my family which which was e which was waiting for me thank you so much goodbye so this is only the explanation of the second part i hope you understand it it is very short and cute story about a baby elephant which realizes the usages of its trunk and how it grows its trunk that is only the theme of the chapter i hope you understand thank you so much for watching this video